Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm answering the question, what is the best age for a footballer to come and try and find a football team in Asia? Okay, so before I start, I just want to say I'm getting a lot of questions from you guys on YouTube, on Instagram, on my email, on Facebook, and I don't have that much time, so I, unfortunately I can't reply to all of you. Some of the questions are repetitive, so I think it's a good idea that in the next video I do a Q&A where I answer all these questions that you have, and I think that will be a good way so everyone can hear. So when it comes to figuring out what is the best age to come to Asia, first of all, I want you to understand that when teams in Asia sign foreign players, they're looking for older and more experienced players. Okay, so if we look at the Malaysian Super League and the foreigners in this league, the average age for foreign players would be, I would say, around 29, 29 to 30 years old. And each team is allowed five foreigners. Three can be from anywhere. One is an Asian player from the Asian region and one can be a Southeast Asian player. Um, for that Southeast Asian player, you need at least 30 international caps for the senior team or you need approval from Football Malaysia. So maximum is five foreign players. And now if we look at the first team, Felder United, We'll look at Thiago Junio, the first player. He's 34. And then the second one, Joe Sinai. He's 29. The next one, Kai Akita. He's 32. So these foreign players, they have a lot more experience. They're older and they can help the local players. And that's why they get paid so much more. So I was looking at the other foreign players in the Malaysian Super League and the youngest is 21 and then I think the next is like 23, 24 and then the majority are over 25. Now in Southeast Asia, Malaysia is quite strong so there are smaller leagues that you can go to like Cambodia, Myanmar and you might have a better chance there as a younger player but it's still difficult and if you look, you can just do a quick Google search, it's very easy to find. You look at the foreign players that each team has and you'll be surprised that a lot of them are over 27, 28. So I'm just showing you roughly the statistics on how old these foreign players are and this shouldn't stop you. I mean if you're 20 to 25 maybe you can also find a team Perhaps if your CV is not so good, starting in like the fourth division in Thailand, there's also smaller countries like Mongolia, maybe the Philippines where you might be able to find a team and you should always take a look at them opportunities if you want to come over earlier. But for the rest of the leagues, I, I'm telling you now it will be difficult to find a team if you are young. So guys, just to summarize, if you're under 21, it's not a good idea to come in Asia to try and find a football team. You should first try and get as many games under your belt, build up your experience, become a better player, and when you're over 24, over 23, then you should explore opportunities in Asia. If you're too young, I'm telling you now, teens will not accept you. So this is just my advice. You can take it however you want. If you're young, I think you'll be wasting money if you try and come over to Asia to try and find a football team. It's better when you're older and have more experience. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this little video and remember if you've got any more questions, I'm going to make a Q&A in the next video and answer all your questions that you have and yeah, we'll go from there. Alright guys, thanks again for watching and until next time, ciao.